everybody. This is Shefa from Bidgely, and today I'm going to be talking about Asana's roll-up field function. So if you use Asana for project management or program management, a field that'd be very valuable to you is a roll-up field because it allows you to roll up all of your project's number field and aggregate it into one. An example for this concept is if you have a program board for all of your projects and you have different costs associated with your different projects, in the portfolio view, you can have a roll-up field to aggregate all of the costs of your projects to see the total cost for all of your program projects. So let's go into the portfolio view in Asana to show you this in action. All right, if you're following my screen, I am in Asana. I have a portfolio named Program Portfolio. If you have a lower hierarchy, so I am doing program management and I have my programs that I'm managing. If you are a project manager and you have a project portfolio, you're able to still use this function. This still applies. So in my program portfolio, I have two programs that I'm managing. I have my website development program and I have my app development program. Over here, I have the different fields that I'm managing just to kind of have some general information on the program. So the status of the program, the progress of the projects within the program, what my due date's looking like and my priority. So here I already have an example created. I have an estimated time roll up. So what this means is for all of my projects in these programs, the time that's been estimated for those projects, this is rolling that up into a sum. So it's telling me my total is one week and one day of estimated time for my projects and my program. So if I open this up, here I see the different fields I'm managing for the projects within my program. So for the website development program, these are my projects and I have an estimated time field. So what this is doing is it's aggregating all of the values for the estimated time for my projects within that development program. So in my, in my program board, I also have a cost. So I would like to see in my portfolio a roll-up of all of my costs for my project. So I can see I have project A, project B, I have some costs here. So the roll-up should show me $5,000 for my roll-up. So let's go here and we're going to add a field. So for the portfolio field, we are going to select the roll up field type and we're going to name this cost roll up. And all I really have to do, this is really set up. I just have to put an input in here. So I have the formula already set for me. So I'm going to go into input and what I want to do a roll up of is the cost field. So I go ahead and select cost and I hit create field. There we go. Now I'll see that the cost for all of my projects within my programs, they're rolling up. We said 5,000 for the website development program. So if I go into the app development program, I'll see that there I have the same field being used here. I have $4,000 for one of my projects, 3,000 for another. So that does roll up to 7,000. So we know that this is working. Considering I have my estimated time roll up, let's go ahead and create an actual time roll up to see how I'm tracking to the time that I have estimated. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add field and I'm gonna hit roll up. So here again, I'm getting an input and I'm going to put the actual time. And if you are following along, if you are trying to create these roll up fields and you don't see these inputs, you want to make sure these fields that I see in my input are added as fields within the program. So that's how you're gonna see these here. So if you don't see these and you're struggling with that, go ahead and make sure you add that field to the program before you do the rollup. Let's do actual time rollup. I'm gonna go ahead and create field. And there we go. We have our estimated time, our actual time, how we're tracking to it. So I have, uh, a total of one week and one day for my estimated time. The amount of time that I've actually tracked to those projects is one day and 16 hours. If you want to see these in just hours, you're gonna wanna create some custom fields for tracking these within your actual boards. So if I wanted to see like just hours and not days, I would create a number field here for tracking the estimated time with just hours because by default, Asana does aggregate to days and weeks. So that is how you use the roll-up field. And what's really cool about the way that the, the programs work in Asana is for these boards, if I click on edit project details, 
I'm able to see those custom fields associated with this board. So I'm able to see the priority I have for this. I'm able to see the uh, estimated time roll up, the cost roll up, and the actual time roll up. So we have the cost and actual time for the programs as well. I'm not using these fields, but if we want to use those fields, if we come into the program portfolio, if you click on options and you go to show hide columns, you'll see these are all of the fields that we have for these um, for within the portfolio. I'm just not showing those, but if you want to have a cost, I'd go, I went ahead and enabled that. And I could go ahead and add a cost that I have for my programs. So this is my cost roll up for my projects within my program. But if I have a cost for the program, which is 10,000, I can go ahead and set that. So if there are these fields that we want to use for the portfolio level, we are able to. But what is really nice about this is these fields all show within the project details as well. So for my app dev pro program, I'm able to see that same information that my program manager is able to see in this portfolio view. I hope this was helpful. I think this roll-up field is very powerful and you don't see the flexibility of this as much in other project management tools. So I thought that this was uh, very cool that Asana has this capability. Let me know how you're using the roll-up field or if you have any questions on other ways to use the field. All right, thank you so much, bye.